the hands and wrists. The examination of the hands and wrists is usually performed to assess them for problems caused by arthritis. Keep in mind the general principles of joint examination. Look, feel, move, measure and compare with the other side and assess joint function. Begin as ever with the general inspection. If the patient has walked into the room, look for signs of arthritis in other joints that affect his or her mobility. Look for signs of systemic disease. Just pop your hands on top of the pillow. Now get the patient to sit over the edge of the bed and place the hands on a pillow. Now look in more detail at the forearms and dorsal and then palmar aspects of the hands. Take time to look at the skin and nails, and then at each of the Just joints in turn, at the small muscles of the hands, and for scars. Note deformity of the architecture of the hands. The changes caused by rheumatoid arthritis are very characteristic. Look for the typical changes of osteoarthritis, bony swellings at the base of the distal interphalangeal 